Okay, here's a movie that you've probably never heard of, but you've probably heard of something that's very, very related to this movie. From 1975, shot in 1973, is Moon Runners. This is a film that was the basis for the Dukes of Hazard TV show. And it's not like, oh, maybe it is. This was the basis for the Dukes of Hazard TV show, and that'll become more and more clear as we go. So this film is about two, I'm not 100% sure if they're cousins or brothers in this. I guess nobody ever was really sure on the Dukes of Hazard either. Uh, two uh, cousins or brothers portrayed by James Mitchum and Keel Martin. James Mitchum is Grady Hag, H-A-G-G, -G, and Keel Martin is Bobby Hag. Uh, their uncle Jesse is portrayed by Arthur Honeycutt, who was in some very memorable Twilight Zones, and always played like an old old hillbilly, an old man of, man of the earth kind of character. And uh, Waylon Jennings does uh, the narration and music as the balladeer. And it is the same narration he would do for Dukes of Hazard, And it's Uncle Jesse. And it's instead of the Duke boys, they're named Hag. But then you change the A to an O and you got Hog. And that's Boss Hog. And that's the guy who was the villain on the Dukes of Hazard TV show. You have Sheriff Roscoe P. Coltrane. It's not a coincidence. You have the Boar's Nest where they go and hang out. It ain't a coincidence. So basically this film was based on the life of a real life moonshiner, a moon runner, bootlegger, whatever you want to call him, and uh, was shot in 73, released in 75 by United Artists, major release, and I don't know exactly the story, I wish this disc had extras, I don't know the exact story of how it became the TV show and all that, but I do remember when the Dukes of Hazard movie came out years later, uh, This the man who made this film, who would be uh, G.Y. Guy, Guy Waldron, uh, tried to sue to have it prevent the Duke's movie from coming out until he got a proper proper credit or proper cut because, I mean, without Moonrunners, there was there was no Dukes of Hazard. So uh, the story basically is the Dukes of Hazard. It's these two cousins who also have bow and arrows with explosives or flaming bow and arrows when they need them, and they run moonshine for Uncle Jesse, who's a very principled moonshiner. He's very much about quality of his product and he won't let somebody else sell it and he won't let anybody else mix theirs with his and his big uh, rival is uh, under the thumb of the syndicate which I always love nobody says that anymore it was the mob but the, you know, I'm getting a lot of heat from the syndicate and uh, they they need him to deliver and uh, it's this it's this backwoods moonshine car chases the all they ever done been in trouble with the law since the day they were born uh, beats all you ever saw and uh, it's just it's a lot of back roads fast driving car crashes and all that it's not that great unfortunately to me it's not that great uh, because i love i love car chase movies i love 70s backwoods car chase movies you give me give me a muscle car flying down a dirt road or flying down a highway with some fast banjo music and i'm a happy guy uh, this one just it didn't have a lot of zip and spark to it it was kind of low key uh, it's funny to see james mitchum uh, basically in the same kind of movie his father was, was in a decade or so earlier uh, thunder road was the first of the real backwoods bootlegger exploitation car chase movies and i guess james mitchum was in that too in his youth uh, so it's funny to see him in this you know sort of a, at the time modern day thunder road and uh, there's like stock car racing in it and there's a guy named cooter but it's not the same kind of character and uh what's his name uh ben jones who played cooter on dukes of hazard is in this but he plays a revenuer a, a g-man or a federal a federal agent so it's just it's funny if you know the dukes of hazard and you liked it as a kid like i did to see where it came from and to see so many of the seeds in this um it's uh, okay. So this is a cheesy flicks release or cheesy movies. So I've got a copy there, and uh, I do love that they use the original poster. Almost nobody uses original poster art, and the poster art for that era is really great. So front and back, and you crack her open, and it's a nice, nice artwork on the disc. Um, cheesy flicks. I've always been kind. Of, I've always kind of had a mixed opinion of because they uh, they're they're essentially a kind of a gray market company they put out things that you know nobody else is exercising their rights on so and the quality tends to be not great so here is a film that's been incredibly rare i believe this came out on vhs a long time ago and that's been it so the upside of this is if you want to get a copy if you finally want to be able to see a copy of this that's not streaming from youtube or something now you can own a copy of moonrunners if you want to have a physical copy of moonrunners now you can downside is it doesn't look that great it looks like an old VHS copy. Uh, I was looking at it on a pretty sizable TV and there's a lot of like pixelation and, and crud. Almost looked like it could have been pulled from a, from a digital source. Like I've had a copy of this movie from a while, for a while that was uh, acquired from some website, let's say, uh, via digital means and was an AVI file and uh, was like from like the movie channel or Showtime. And the, the 
print they used looked a bit sharper and better than this. And when I heard this was coming out, I almost wondered if that's what they were going to use. But this is not as good as that. So I guess if you were watching this on a 4x3 TV, an older 4x3 TV, it would probably look okay. It's just when you're blowing it up to a much bigger screen, it's, it's a little dodgy. The IMDb lists this as being 110 minutes. The cover of the disc lists it as being 110 minutes but the actual running time for this film was 103 minutes. I don't know if that's an anomaly, if it's a PAL to, via to NTSC conversion thing or what. It didn't really feel like anything was missing from this movie, but who knows if this was a, a TV print or, or a re-release or whatever. Um, what else What else is there to say about uh, Moonrunners? It's, it's cool to be able to get this, I will say that. It is, uh, it's a four by three, if I didn't say that already. Uh, the extras, there is a newly made trailer for the cheesy flicks release of All the Kind Strangers, which was a Stacey Keach, uh, Samantha Egger TV movie that's pretty good. And it's it's considered public domain, so it kind of gets kicked around everywhere. And a newly made trailer for a film called The 27th Day. Strangely, though, it's like skinny vision. Like it should be, the, the edges should be coming out a little bit, so everybody looks a little tall and skinny on this version of the trailer. Uh, it looks perfect. If that's the version of the film cheesy flicks is releasing, it looks like a really good quality source they took it from, wherever that might be. So anyway... Available now. It's region free, so anybody in the world can see this now. If you want a physical copy of this movie, Moonrunners, which I think is not one of the better, personally, not one of the better uh, Hicksploitation car chase 70s drive in movies, but at the same time, it's a 70s Hicksploitation car chase drive in movie, which I kind of like uh, in general. It's, uh, it's interesting to see. So it is now available to you on DVD from Cheesy Flicks. <laughs>